Oh my God, it's a love heart. This speech isn't on the Sea Glass Hunters UK list, but you need to know about it. And we'll tell you later in the video where we are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've you, you got to please the algorithm. Okay, yeah. We'll yeah. tell you later where we are. Yeah. Last time that we came to Minster, we were looking for safety glass uh, so that I can make, turn into jewellery, which I have done. But I also found some, well, we both did, but I found a really nice big piece of not like dark blue, but it's a real nice blue. And I want to see if I can find some more of that. So let's see how long it takes to find the first piece, what we've got in an hour, and what we've got at the end of the day. So I keep watching and we'll see what we get. It's taken probably 10 minutes, but the first piece. My first piece is a nice green piece, actually. It's nice. There's a lot more plastic and general sort of rubbish on this beach than many that I've visited, which is a real shame. It's just general rubbish everywhere, really. <clears throat> I don't know if it's washed. You know, these are the cliffs that have all been, or, or are eroding. If you look at the aerial footage, you see that this area obviously is eroding quite quickly. So I don't know whether it's from rubbish that has been dumped at the Ooh. top or whether it's from... I found a lovely piece. I'm just going to see what Shannon's doing quickly. Oh! It's not fully cooked. Oh dear. If only. <laughs> but the colour of it... Plastic, unfortunately. It's not completely cooked. What you found? Wow, the colour. Yeah, that's why I'm picking it up, even though it's not fully cooked. Very nice. I just heard you on the on the video. Look what I found. Where? <gasps> oh my god, it's a love heart. <laughs> it's only plastic though. Oh. <laughs> oh, you rat bag. So you're having more luck at the top here, are you? Yeah, and I mean, there's bits that are not cooked at all. It's a nice colour though, isn't it? colour. Yeah. Actually, that's, uh, that's, do you want that? Well, I don't know why I'm not putting it in my own bag, yeah, to be put honest. put it in your own bag, then. So the tip here is just looking at the top of the beach, I guess, where all the all stuff the just washes up. I uh, was saying, I'm a bit concerned we could get cut off here, because it looks like the tide comes right up to the cliff edge. Yeah, it does. But um, well, I think we should be fine because it's like the tide is, is going out. It's a horrible sharp bit. Nice pattern in it. Nice though. pattern in it. So that's saying that would go in a tumbler and see what happens with it. Yeah. Oh. It's quite muddy here, isn't it? Very muddy. Oh. How? Try and get the bit that's. Uh, There's not a bit. A few more stones down here. Ah! They lost my shoe. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna. Muddy like, feet. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna like fall over. I don't think this was a good idea. What we thinking? Are we gonna carry on down? Do you want to turn around then? I don't know. What are you thinking? Well, if I'm gonna walk down to the end there and just look around the corner. Okay. If um, you want to walk back, then that's fine. Or start walking back because we could have a little walk just past where we came in. Right. And then we can um, maybe try somewhere else. What do you think? It's slippery m mud. This is not good. I would say don't walk this way, people, if you come down there. So we're now going to walk back towards the car and maybe we'll walk just a little bit past where we came on. There's a beach there. I'm hoping this, the um, tide's not coming in because it might be difficult to get back if it's... That's what I said to you. It looks like the tide's coming in. You know, it does look like the tide's coming in. 
Maybe that's why there's nobody on this part of the beach. Yeah, we're going to get cut off. Next time you see us, it'll be a rescue video. I hope not. <laughs> so do I. So we kind of mistimed. Hey. We sort of mistimed our, our trip, really. So let's hope that these rocks are not slippery because we've got to climb across them now. Hmm. You going up higher? Yeah. actually quite I think they're a little bit dangerous and they certainly use a lot of energy getting across them. Now we've walked up uh, to the right of where we parked towards I don't know what that town is over there or that village or whatever um, but it's more beach here pebbly beach and there's a, a wall and in fact we didn't realize we'd walk past the sign that says don't walk down here because there's cliffs that might fall on you so Whoops, don't go that way. But already I found two pieces, so it looks a little bit more hopeful here. It's actually virtually high tide, as we've now discovered. Found a couple of really nice cooked pieces. That's nice. Yeah. It's really nicely cooked. And look what I just found. Can you see? Okay. No, Every purpose. time you're the one that finds the bottle stoppers. <laughs> this is my second one. <laughs> so we forgot to do what we got on the hour, <laughs> but we've been here, what's it, it's, uh, it's one o'clock now. It must have been two hours? Yeah. So that's mine. And mine. A lot, well not a lot, some of my pieces aren't very cooked. So I will be putting them in the tumbler. Uh, because they're a lovely colour. Yeah. A lovely bit of blue there. Yeah, I do love that bit of blue. That's so it's, this, this beach is not on the Sea Glass Hunters UK list. It's probably one you need to know about. Yeah, so once we remember what the name of it is... <laughs> we'll let you know. We'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's right next to Minster on Sea on the Isle of Sheppey. Ooh. One o'clock, and now we're gonna have a little wander down a bit further down the beach and see what's there because this seems to be the better part of the beach down this end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Look what I found. What you found? <gasps> wow. That's nice. It seems the further we're walking up the beach, the more glass we're finding. Yes. Would you agree? Yeah, I think maybe. Oh, another bit there, look. Hmm. So we have reached the end of this beach. Uh, we have found quite a bit, haven't we? Yeah, it's been quite surprising actually. Yeah, and actually a array of colours, not just all clear. I don't know if you can see from on this. I found some lovely, some lovely like green bits. Um, but the ones that I like are these sort of, what colour? 
sort of olive sort of colour. Olive colour green, so which are really nice. But yeah. And you and I found another little blue bit somewhere. Somewhere in here, there it is. Like bit a bit of blue. Of, almost like bonfire glass blue. Yeah. It's quite nice. And that's my haul. Again, not bad colours actually. There's some blue in there. Different kind of greens and, and sort of clears. Sea foam. Sea foam, yeah, really nice colours. So we're now here pretty much at high tide. I don't think it's going to come much higher than this. It makes you wonder what is down here. Because most of the stuff we found has been obviously in this sort of, I don't know, three metres at the top of the beach. But we're getting some quite good finds down here. So who knows what, we'll, what you'd find when the tide is out. We, we now worked out where we are and where we've been. So we've been uh, walked from Warden, which is like a, a quite a small village. We'll maybe put the what three words location of where that we parked. We walked from there to Lays Down on Sea, yeah. which is kind of that way about a mile. A mile, probably. Yeah. And really, the best sea glass seems to be between the two villages or between the two uh, towns villages, whatever. So it's definitely worth a visit. So if you're in Kent or near Kent, it's definitely worth coming yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I would say is uh, along the bit where we've been, there's no uh, toilets no. or there's no food places here, but I'm sure there are somewhere. Um, Probably lays down on sea, I reckon. It looks a bit more commercialised over yeah, there. Yeah, might, might be. More people over there. But we didn't come across any anyway. No. But it was free parking, so. Free parking. Yeah. Uh, so we've, all that remains now is just to go home and uh, wash this sea glass and see what it looks like, maybe on some white paper, see what we've got. Yeah. It's Colin's bag. You empty my sack. <laughs> right, I'm going to give it a little rinse. Which is your favourite piece? I've never found another piece of... What's so to us? Mm. My favourite piece is this piece. Yeah, you went for that specially, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this could actually once... That could be nice, In it? the tumbler, it could be nice. I mean, there's some nice green bits, so it's need a little bit of a tumbler. Shall I go and get the UV lights, see if everything lights up? If you like. Well, that's disappointing. Intact. A little. It's cute, isn't it? Bottle stopper. Yeah. 
So my second bottle stopper, isn't it? Yes, your second bottle stopper. I wonder what that's out of, because I wonder if that's just eroded over time, or I wonder if that is, was always that small. Hmm. It's like out of a little poison bottle or something, I don't know. Maybe. But we found quite a lot of blue, didn't we? You found quite a lot of blue. I found this piece though. Find that good piece. So this. That piece, no, that was your piece. There's another bit that I found. You found this piece. So I think this is the most blue we've ever found in one beach. Yeah. Isn't it? What do yeah. you think? Definitely. Okay, I did find it a big bit of charmer, but you know, I think that is probably the most blue. And the most disappointing bits, I think is this bit <laughs> and this bit that look amazing but they're plastic but they just look too good to leave <laughs> but you can see the um the selection that we have which is actually pretty good i think yeah. considering the amount of blue that we've got there we haven't really got any brown have we no a tiny amount of brown even like a lot of that even you know there's it's really well cooked, a lot cooked of it, isn't it? yeah, yeah. And these, these pieces, these like Little olive pieces, olive pieces, very nice colour. So this is where some of this, not all of this, is going to be made into things like this. There's a few pieces here that I can definitely make into, like, could use that as an earring. Um, yeah, there's quite a few pieces that will be good. Obviously, I'm not going to use the plastics. Did you just put down a bit, blue? bit of blue? I mean, obviously, there's pieces that aren't going to be good. But to watch this space and see what I can. Okay, there's another earring. Okay, well, I think what I'm supposed to be saying now. Yeah. If you like the video, give us a thumbs okay. up. Yeah. Um, and if you really liked it, subscribe. That'd be really cool. Thank you. Check out the link for Jane's Etsy store because she makes jewelry, amazing jewelry like this uh, with the sea glass. And uh, just let us know where is your favourite place to collect sea glass. I mean, we've been to a few places now on the south coast. So, but this is new and this isn't on the sea glass hunter's map so we're like around here somewhere so yeah let us know thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video Thank you.